Hello, this is Reza from Radacad. In this video, I'm going to explain to you what is paginated reports, how this is different from normal Power BI reports, and what things you should consider. Do you really need paginated reports or not? Let's check it out. Uh, here I have two reports in my Power BI uh, environment and you see that they are both of report type but they have two different icons so although they are both report types but these are two different kind of reports this first one is like a normal power bi report the second one is what we call paginated reports now what is a paginated report paginated report is a report that is designed not using Power BI Desktop or Power BI Service. You need a different tool to design it called Power BI Report Builder. This is a glance of what this tool look like uh, in a bigger screen, it's like that. Um, so it's a tool that you have to install separately and build the reports with it. These reports are designed pixel perfect for reporting, uh, sorry, for, for printing, as you see here. I have uh, like these areas that I can design the print size and header, footer. There are a lot of things that I can design around it versus in a normal Power BI report in Power BI desktop, I cannot do that. Uh, these reports, um, they still are visualization elements like a normal Power BI report, which is a visualization element, but they are created for different purpose. Uh, to understand why we need paginated report, let me first explain that what is the need that ends with the paginated report. So here I have a normal Power BI report, movies report, when I click on it, um, this is a normal Power BI report, as you see some dashboards, charts, um, interactivity is all available here, like a normal Power BI report. Now, um, in the second page of this report, I have a table visual. And this table visual, you see, I have like more than records that can fit into this screen. So here I just see like about 13 of these records, but there are like much more. There are about like 200 records in this table. So if I have a visual like this, and when I go and print this, because you can print a Power BI uh, file um, or Power BI report, when you print it, and I just show you what the print look like. So when I print it, it would look like this. You can, of course, change the size of the page, you can change landscape, portrait, and things like that, but none of those is going to change the fact that the uh, area of the table that is grid printed is only whatever presented in the screen, which is only the first 13 records. I don't see all the 200 records. Now you have to actually think about it, that how do you really like this to be printed? So when it is like 200 records, do you want all these charts to be like pushed down? So first this uh, table with uh, 200 records showed, or you want the charts to come first? When you show this table with 200 records, this is probably going to go over multiple pages. Do you want to repeat these um, titles of the columns across different pages? Do you want to have a page number in it? It's not. You see, there are a lot of details when we talk about printing these kind of things. Now, the print in normal Power BI report is just like a screenshot of every page. So that is what the normal Power BI report print does. But because that printing isn't helpful for situations that you have a table visual with so many rows or a matrix visual, in those cases, we need something different. And that is what the paginated reports does. So paginated reports comes with pagination, actually. That is what's called paginated reports. In this report, you can have different pages. And like, um, as you can see here is a view of my paginated reports. In this page, I have like about this many uh, movies, then I go to the next page, I have another set of movies. Uh, it is a little bit different from normal Power BI report. Now, this is a very simple view of that. You can make this report also look uh, much prettier than what this is right now, but I'm just giving you the point right now. So uh, by default, it doesn't have all the interactivity that you have in the Power BI report, although you can make this interactive at some degree, but this is designed for a totally different uh, requirement. This is designed for a requirement that when you go and say file, I want to print this one, 
Uh, well, it depends on the sizing of your page and things like that. Then when you print it, it will print all of these pages for you. So you will have all of these pages and uh, you can see here now my design didn't really had that very good design. So you see the picture went to another page, but you see this is across multiple pages. Mm, so you can actually design this and you can have headers repeated across multiple pages. You can have page header, page footer. You can design it for A3 pages, paper, um, sizes that be, let's say, letter, A4, A5, whatever you want to design it. These are reports that you actually build for designing. So, so far, the difference between these two types of reports is that first, Normal Power BI report is designed for analytics, for interactive analytics, like click on this chart, see things filtered and sliced and diced, versus the paginated report is designed for pixel perfect print ready reports. You can design exactly how you want this to be printed. They are created in two different tools. The Power BI report, you can create it in Power BI desktop, or you can build it in Power BI website as well. In Power BI website, you have the option to create reports. And paginated reports, you have to design it using Power BI Report Builder, which is a separate install. You have to install it, or you can use Visual Studio. For those who are more, let's say, on the developer side of things, they can use Visual Studio to build this. Normal Power BI Reports has the extension of PBIX. These paginated reports, they have the extension of RDL. They are coming from the old reporting services uh, technology, uh, upgraded a little bit to the Power BI. Now, these reports uh, can be sourced from the Power BI dataset, and that is usually the way that you should do it to have a better architecture. Uh, but in terms of like the builder environment for that, the Power BI report builder is actually, this used to be called SQL Server Reporting Services or uh, Reporting Services Builder, Report Builder. It's now upgraded a little bit on that, but the UI is still old. So you need to spend a little bit of time to learn about it. It's still powerful, but you need to have a little bit more learning time for your learning curve to learn about how to build those. So these are some of the differences. Uh, in terms of, uh, do you really need this kind of report? That is one of the main questions. So uh, when people come to me and say, do I need paginated reports? My first question to them is that, well, do you need printing? And always, like I would say not always, but let's say 95% of the time I hear the answer that yes, we definitely need printing. That guy over there needs printing. My boss, she is always getting these prints into uh, their meetings, things like that. But what we realize a little bit later is that they don't really need printed reports. They need accessible reports, reports that are accessible. You can take it with yourself to, I mean, as a user, you can take it to, with yourself to a meeting and uh, you can discuss about it. You can um, have it on your phone, something like that. Uh, because those phone reports wasn't available a long time ago, people used to do printing. Now, uh, they are still saying that we want printing reports, but the fact is that they want accessible reports. And you can actually design a really good uh, report using normal Power BI, design it report friendly, which I have links down in the description below. Go and check them and a video that explain how to design a mobile friendly report, which you can add annotation on it and discussions, points and things like that. So most of the time I have seen that that will really reduce the need for printing a lot of time. But if after doing all of those, you still feel that there's a need for, re for printing, then that is the time that you can think about creating paginated reports. If you are going to create paginated reports, make sure that you follow uh, the best practice of multi-layered architecture because um, you don't want to create another data set for your paginated reports and a data set for your normal Power BI reports. It is best to have one data set serving both as a shared data set. And I have explained about that again in another video. Go and check that out. You can easily have the same data set serving both. In that case, your measures, your calculations, all of those would be helpful for this. Okay, so uh, if you want to build paginated reports, where to start? First, you have to install this tool called uh, Power BI Report Builder. Now this is a separate installation. You can uh, download and install it. The link to installing it is down in the description below. <clears throat> uh, 
let me just open it from scratch so I just show you what it looks like now this video is not enough to go through really building um, a paginated report it, it would take a little time but I'll show you some bits and pieces of this so um, first thing is that it's not as intuitive as a Power BI desktop environment it's not as intuitive as Power BI desktop environment when you uh, want to build something it's a little bit different environment uh, but there's a wizard that helps you to do that so you can use a wizard to build a table or metrics um, and I can choose for example to create it from a data set now I don't have a data set I'll go and say I want to connect to the sources directly which I don't recommend uh, or I can choose a Power BI data set which I do recommend then I go and say build a connection to an existing Power BI data set then I can go and choose a data set that I have in my list and I go and select that now I already have done that so I'm not going through that process again I'm just showing you one of the files that I have created previously so this is a really simple uh, report with like an image at the top with a header in here and this is my table that is sourced from a Power BI dataset I can actually run it here and see what it would look like um, so it will connect to that data set it show me that information and it is a paginated so here I can go to different pages and see what it looks like um, you can design it whatever you like you can change the size of the page you can uh, do a lot of things now um, this environment looks really simple but in fact it's really powerful you can insert some elements here but there are much more details in it in every elements when you click there are some settings on it and there are things that you cannot do here but you can do it in visual studio so it's a it's a powerful uh, technology to build reports with it's based on sql server reporting services as i mentioned but after you build your report then you can publish it into the Power BI service. Now, the point is that it has to be published into the premium workspace, either premium capacity workspace or a premium per user workspace. So that is another difference between uh, normal Power BI reports, which you can even build using free Power BI accounts uh, versus these reports that you need a premium per user or premium license to use it. But building it is like that it's a learning curve uh, you need to watch many videos there are books about reporting services that are over a thousand pages now you don't really need all of those but you need a lot of those if you are going to create um paginated reports so it's better to get to learn it and things um, like that can be normally find in the reporting services pages um, of, uh, of books and, uh, and some other materials about that. So in summary, paginated reports is different from a Power BI report. It is designed for print friendly reports versus normal Power BI reports is interactive for analytics. Uh, I would always recommend to use them side by side so that your like normal Power BI reports be like a landing page for your user. They go there, they do a slicing and dicing, and then from there, like a master detail, they go to the detail, which is the print friendly report. And these two can talk with each other with some parameters in the uh, paginated reports. As I said, there are a lot of details in terms of how to develop the paginated reports, which I couldn't cover in one video like this um, first always think about do you really need printing or maybe you need mobile friendly reports so consider that as well and always consider that you use a shared data set between your normal reports and your page reports that would help a lot in terms of having a reusable architecture and less maintainable architecture. So I hope you enjoyed this video about paginated reports. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments below. If you like our videos, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Power BI. Thank you.